Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to take you to the notes on powers in inverse variation. At the end of this, you should be able to say I can find inverse variation with powers. Okay, I'm just going to take us straight into some examples here, and uh, that should help us get this all figured out. Okay, so suppose B is inversely proportional to the square of H. Okay, so first thing we want to do is set up our little uh, direct variation here. Okay, so B is inversely proportional to the square of H. Okay, so there's we've got B, and then we've got H squared, but it's inversely proportional, so it's going to be 1 over H squared. Okay, so this is going to be our key right here. B is inversely proportional to 1 over H squared. Okay, so now with that... Let's do our H here and our B here. It says that uh, B is 30. When H is 14, find B when H is 42. Okay? Now, here's what we can do. Okay? We can set up... Oops. Sorry about that. We can set up 14 is to 30 as 42 is to be but now we have to follow these rules here okay let's write that right here b is directly proportional to 1 over h squared so this is our h so instead of it just being directly proportional to h it's 1 over h squared and this will be 1 over h squared and now we can do the cross multiply um, idea that we've been doing on these uh, on these other ones okay so really we're just gonna get our calculator out here and let's see we got 1 over 14 times B so 1 over 14 squared sorry B is gonna equal 1 over 42 squared times 30. So let's figure out what 1 over 42 squared times 30 is. That's really just going to be 30 divided by 42 squared, right? 30 divided by 42 squared gives us 0 0.01700. I, I wouldn't even bother writing, well, I mean, we can write it down, but um, we're going to want to use this information you want to leave that number in the calculator don't clear that out because we can use that here in the future so we've got 0 0.017 we'll just write that so 0 0.017 and that's equal to 1 over 14 squared times b right now we want to get b by itself so what we what we really have to do is we want to multiply both sides by the inverse of this so that's just 14 squared right so if we take the multiply this side by 14 squared we're just left with b and then so we've got to multiply this side over here by 14 squared and again the good news is we already have this 1 over 42 squared times 30 is already in there so now we just do this times 14 squared and push enter and that means that b in this case is going to be 3.3 three okay that is probably i really think that's probably going to be the easiest way to get that um all figured out the book does it a little bit different way um on example six and that is page i'm looking at it but i don't know what page page 172 they do it a little bit different way than this but um really i think that i went through and looked at that i think that this is going to make um, your life a little bit easier. Let's try it again over here because I got, gave us another example here. So we know that H and B, when H is 14, B is 30. That's all from our initial information up here. Now find B, oh no, say uh, find H when B is 50. We can still do this the same way. Okay, so we can say 14 is the 30 as h is to 50 but we have to follow this rule it's got to be 1 over our h squared and that's going to be 1 over our h squared 
that's what it's directly proportional to. That's why it's really kind of nice to write this direct variation, uh, um, not really equation, but just write this direct variation um, sentence here because that will tell us exactly what, what we want to do to these here so we can do our cross multiply. Okay, so this is going to turn into 50 over, because 50 times 1 over 14 squared is 15 over 14 squared, and that's going to equal 30 times 1 over h squared, which really we can write that as 30 over h squared, right? Okay, so um, let's see. Okay, um, honestly, I, th I really think that our best way of doing this here, even though we just did cross products, uh, when we did cross products, we ended up with a fraction equaling another fraction. So I'm going to one more time, I'm just going to cross set these things on the diagonal here equal to each other. So 14 squared times 30 is going to equal 50 H squared. Okay. Which I know looks weird because we did cross products twice. We did it once to kind of simplify and then we did it again to make it even better. You could get straight to here from here, but um, I wouldn't skip that in between step. I think it just makes it so it's going to make it a little bit easier. So um, anyway, 14 squared times 30 gives us 5880. And that's going to be 50H squared. So we want to divide both sides by 50. And that's going to give us that H squared equals. So we divide that by 50. Give us some decimal, 117.6. Okay, but we got to get rid of that squared, so we have to square root both sides, and that will tell us that our h is square root of our answer, and we get 10.8 will be what h is for this one. Okay, okay, that's really it for uh, powers and inverse uh, variation. You just want to set up, I really think the big key here is setting up your direct variation even though it's inverse variation we can we can write it as a direct variation and then you just do cross products and then we're uh we're good to go okay again if you don't like that way there is a different way uh that our textbook does it they uh, an example um gosh did they even oh yeah they did do an example and that is on page 172 uh Again, I've, I had a hard time following that one uh, and then figured out this way instead. So um, anyway, if you have any further questions, please, please, please feel free to ask. Thanks.